Hello again, and welcome back to Educator.com's Advanced PHP with MySQL course. In today's lesson, we're going to be learning about a new SQL command called delete, which is going to allow us to delete rows from our tables in our database. We're going to learn about the syntax of the delete statement, and then we're going to be, uh, learn about how to use our delete statement uh, from PHP. So one part is sort of going to be um, learning the SQL part of it, and then how to transform that or, or move that into uh, PHP code. Uh, so, as mentioned, a delete statement is a uh, SQL command that's used to basically just delete rows from a table based on specified criteria. We've learned how to insert rows into a table. We've learned how to retrieve rows from a table. Now we're going to learn how to delete them. It has the syntax shown here. It starts with the keywords delete from, and then it, you specify the name of the, ta the table that you want to delete rows from. And then, like our select statement, it has a where clause. Uh, and that basically is how you define which rows you want to delete. So this statement here is saying, delete all the rows from the items table where the item ID equals 1001. Well, we know from our items table that our item ID is a primary key, so there's only going to be one row that's going to uh, be deleted here. So this is going to delete one row from the table um, uh, where the item ID is 1001. Now the where clause operates just like it does uh, for select statements, for selecting rows from the table. And in that, you can use comparison operators, as we did here. We tested if they're equal. You can use and you can use logical operators. For example, we used AND and OR uh, when demonstrating um, where uh, conditions when we talked about uh, select statements. You can use all those same um, uh, operators and operations in order to define which rows you want to delete from a particular table. So uh, if we go and uh, I have MySQL monitor loaded up, and if we go and look at all the items in our table. error in the syntax. We can see that our um, table, I, I've just pulled up the item ID name and price for all the item rows in our items table. We can see that we have the default set up for our, our database, which is our six, our six items. And so if we want to run, if we want to delete item 1001, let's go ahead and run that delete command we just saw. So we, del we write delete from the table we want to delete from, which is items, where item ID equals 1001. And if we run this, we're going to get query OK. We notice that it's going to say one row is affected. We know that that was a primary key we specified, so it's only going to signify one row. If we run the select query on our um, items table again, we're going to see now that item uh, 1001 is no longer, uh, no longer in the database. Uh, one other thing to note is that if you want to delete all the items or all of the rows from a table, um, you can simply just omit the where clause, and you would just say delete from items. In this particular case, that's going to delete every row from the um, items table. So actually, if we were to go ahead and run that command, it should tell us that five rows have been deleted. It's going to say five rows are affected. If we run our select command again, it's going to reduce, produce an empty set because no rows were returned. So I'm going to go ahead and I have a script that I used to, um, I'm going to repopulate all the tables to get them back to the default state. And now, just to verify that the data is back in the table, because we're going to be using it in our next uh, slide. We can see that all of the data is back. 